Hey guys, it's me, Francis, and I want to talk to you one more time about the game SimCity. It's kind of my closing remarks on the whole thing. Uh, you know, I know you're tired of hearing about it because everybody's talking about it. Even CNN and Forbes magazine, you know, posted articles about how what not to do. That this is what not to do. And, you know, EA really kind of dropped the ball. We all know that. And I want to talk about some other stuff related to the game today, if that's all right. Um, just so you know, I, I, EA's done everything they could in the last week since the video game released to try to get more servers online, to improve online stability. They've just done everything they could to make the game worth playing and, and capable of being played, okay? And now when I log in, I actually log in. There's certainly not a 20, 30 minute wait time. I can actually get into my city. I can actually build a city and I can play for a few hours at a time. And fortunately, the fucking thing doesn't randomly delete my fucking cities anymore just because I lost connection to the fucking server with a patch it for the 35th fucking time. I promise I wasn't gonna get angry. I'm not gonna get angry. I just wanna talk about the problems, okay? I'm really sorry. So you could say that EA's done a pretty good job. And in the PR market, they've done a pretty good job of trying to cover their bases and make things right. They're going to give us a free fucking game for all the people who pre-ordered or purchased Sim City before March the 18th. You're going to get a free fucking game. I'm sure it's going to be goddamn lemonade tycoon like I got on my fucking Android when they gave me a free fucking game. I'm not going to get mad. I'm not going to get mad. Fucking lemonade, tycoon. It better be fucking crisis. But I digress, okay? Once you get past the server authentication, authentication issues and the online connectivity issues, which is a big fucking thing to try to get past, the game itself really isn't all that great. It's not SimCity 4. In fact, it's pretty far removed from it. At the end of the day, the city sizes are small, they're fucking tiny. And when you're trying to commit to a whole region, when you build two cities that are supposed to be side by side, it looks fucking stupid because they're square shaped and they are built to the brim of that very edge. But then there's nothing between the two fucking regions. The whole fucking thing looks like shit. I'm trying to pack 7.5 million people in a fucking five square fucking miles. That's not Sim City. That's Sim fucking towns. More like Sim City. Oh, fuck. Oh. <laughs> and of course, I'm having problems with the AI, just like everybody else. Last night, I finally built a bus station in my town with 75,000 people in it. And I hire some buses. So I start watching my buses and I plan my I plan my fucking bus routes exactly the way the designers of the game told me to in the fucking guide I bought for $9.99. And the goddamn bus keeps going down the same road. You turning, you turning, you turning, you turning. He never passes a single fucking bus stop. He's got a hundred people on the goddamn bus. And they can't get off because he doesn't let them the fuck off! <clears throat> what the fuck am I playing? But I digress. Okay, seriously. The truth of the matter is the game is probably going to be really good within the next month to six months. And I think by then I might probably repurchase the game or reinstall. Oh, and I do mean repurchase the game. Of course, by then, since it's electronic fucking arts, there'll be 60 to 70 dollars worth of microtransactions I can fucking buy. You want your buses to learn to drive in a straight fucking line? That'll be 18 $18.99! Because I'm getting a refund. I asked you guys for one. You said no. My bank will take care of it. And so what? You ban my Origin account? I don't want 